What is working with highly active pharmaceutical ingredients all about? If you had not yet had much to do with highly active pharmaceuticals, you will occasionally come across terms that you may not be familiar with. And here, I would like to give you briefly some explanations. The OEL for active pharmaceutical products indicates the concentration that may be present of the product in the air without experiencing pharmaceutical effects. OEL is especially important for the highly active pharmaceutical ingredients, as here the per meter concentration is very low. We are talking about microgram per meter cube. It is not dangerous even if someone constantly breathes in this concentration of the API every day for eight hours, the whole week, the whole year, and for the whole working lifetime. The OEB value is a company-specific classification that is used to classify substances that lie in a certain band, for example, in order to be able to better classify this equipment on which certain products can be processed. The PDE value is the maximum dose of an active pharmaceutical ingredient that a person may be administered per day without a pharmaceutical effect occurring. Because an adult person inhales a maximum 10 cubic meters of air in an eight hour working day, the mathematical definition is that the PDE is equals 10 times the OEL value. Finally, when working with highly active pharmaceutical products, it is important to know that when diluted with ineffective excipients, the amount of dust from the machine environment may be greater than the pure active ingredient according to the dilution. This is clear because it's not only the API that escapes from the pharmaceutical machines, but the mixture of the active ingredient and the excipients. Accordingly, it is acceptable to have more dust in the environment in order to avoid contamination. Of course, all pharmaceutical risks have to be taken into account here. But it really makes it easier for us and the plants considerably less expensive if you take dilution into account without making compromises to the apparatus safety and the risk of cross-contamination. Okay. With this knowledge, we have the tools to talk eye to eye about the details of the machines in the following blogs. I'm looking forward to meeting you again on this channel. I would like you to keep in mind that the key value we have to keep in mind, especially is the OEL level, the maximum permitted concentration of a substance in the working environment. And keep in mind, that the concentration of the active ingredient is most important. The equipment controls the dust in the working environment. The dilution gives us extra capacities. The topic next week will be the overview of the pharmaceutical OSD production from the powder to the blister tablet or capsule. See you then. Stay tuned.